Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at grind size, espresso brewing and filter brewing. So we're going to look at basic sort of extraction rules. Uh, I'm going to give you a recipe and we're going to look at some of the problems that we can have when we brew espresso and filter coffee. So under extracted and over extracted and how we can fix those problems using our grinder. So this is gonna be really, really basic. Um, it's just gonna be like a beginner's guide, basically, for anyone who's struggling with getting their grind size correct. Without further ado, let's get brewing some espresso. So for today, we're gonna to be using the Sage Duo Temp. This is an entry-level machine, so it's a good sort of starting point. Um, and it might be relatable for a lot of you who have it or a sage machine um, and then we've got the niche grinder which is a great stepless grinder um, but whatever grinder you have it will be the same sort of principle and same sort of rule um, just bear in mind that this is a stepless grinder so there's way more adjustment on this than maybe a stepped grinder bear in mind as well that each coffee is different so I'm going to give you some basic recipes and sort of things that I do but it completely depends on the roast of coffee, uh, the origin of coffee, and also what you like out of your coffee. So adjust to your taste and to the coffee, and uh, hopefully this is helpful. Let's go. So for our espresso, we wanna be using a one to two ratio. So that means that whatever coffee we put in, we wanna double out the weight that comes out, the yield essentially. So I'm gonna be using 17 grams for the sage, and we're gonna be looking for about 34 grams of liquid out. And we've got a time parameter for that basically. So with this coffee, I'm gonna be going for a basic rule of about 27 seconds to 32 seconds. And that's gonna sort of give us a good time and we're gonna taste it and see how it is and then adjust from there. We're also gonna look at some of the problems of over and under extracted coffees and how to see when that's going wrong and some visuals uh, to make it sure that we're making the best sort of coffee that we can. So without further ado, let's make a shot of espresso and we'll see what happens and I'll talk you through what is going on. So as you can see with that shot of espresso, nothing really came through uh, it was a very slow extraction so that's an indicator that our coffee is going to be over extracted it's going to take too long to come out so what this means is that the water is passing through the coffee too slowly because it's too fine a grind so it's taking a long 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 time to come through so what we want to do with our grind is make that a little bit coarser now we don't want to make it really coarse because that's going to go to the other end of the scale and that's going to be really quick to flow through and lead to a really flat watery tasting coffee and it's not going to be very nice to drink so we're gonna just adjust it ever so slightly up maybe a couple of notches up and just see where we go from there i've also just taken the the basket out and you can see it's just kind of like a sludgy mess um, that's definitely not what we're looking for. Okay, so this shot was a 38 second extraction, so a little bit over extracted, uh, but the weight was near what we wanted it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and make this one notch coarser. Um, I don't think it needs to be much really to, to get it where we want it to be. I mean, it's, it looks lovely. It's got a nice crema on the top, um, but probably taste wise and smell wise, like slightly over extracted. 25 second extraction, a little bit less than what I want it to be. So I am gonna use the benefit of my stepless grinder and just take it back half a notch and see where we end up. Okay, so this shot of espresso was 32 seconds and our target weight out. So I'm hoping this is gonna be a really good tasting shot. Oh, 
yeah, it's perfectly balanced, got a really nice sweetness. Um, it's just, yeah, exactly what you'd want for this coffee. And again, do bear in mind that it's different for each coffee and it's also subjective to taste. So what I might like, you might not like so much. So just bear that in mind. In terms of filter coffee brewing, it's the same, uh, same rules. So under extracted is usually sour and a bit watery. Over extracted is quite bitter. Maybe it's a bit heavier on the mouthfeel, not quite as delicate as what you'd want out of a filter coffee. So again, the same principles apply. You want to adjust your grind size. If it's coming out too sour and under extracted, make your grind finer. And if it's coming out too bitter and a bit over extracted, then make your grind a bit coarser. And that's it. That's a really simple kind of overview of it. Obviously, again, it depends on the coffee, it depends on what equipment you're using, and it depends what you like. Um, so with filter coffee brewing, it's not quite as finickety as espresso brewing. Uh, filter coffee brews, I've had a lot less grief over. <laughs> uh, espresso brewing is quite precise. Um, obviously filter brewing, you're also being precise, you're weighing out, but I've had lots of really good filter coffee brews. Um, even if they have been a little bit over extracted or under extracted, they're nowhere near as bad as what like a bad shot of espresso can be. <laughs> so it's a little bit more lenient, but that is the basic premise. Adjust your grind according to what you want to do with your coffee. That is it guys, a really quick one. I hope this helped. Any more questions about espresso brewing or filter coffee brewing or adjusting grind size, etc. Um, drop it in the comments below and uh, I'd appreciate it if you find it helpful. Give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye!